And you said to me it runs. Of course it runs. Let's fire up, man. Let's, go. Let's hear this. Watch, watch, watch. Nah, nah. I can't believe what I just seen. What is going on? Welcome back to the channel, to another episode of RCL Days Reloaded. If you are new to the channel, I do motorcycle collections, motorcycle deliveries, motorcycle recoveries for a living, and I'm sharing my journey with you guys. So if you do like what you see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Today we are over at Two Tires. I did collect two bikes this morning, but I've just arrived here to drop one off. And I am with my man, Corinne, and he is the owner of one of these bikes. So, Honda VTX, Honda VTX 1300 Cruiser. Just, I don't know anything about this bike. As I said, I do know it looks sick. It sounds sick, but he's gonna break it down. He's gonna give us a bit of details on this bike. He's gonna tell us a little bit more of what everyone wants to know about this bike because I am quite curious as to a few of the bits on this bike, what's on this bike, what it does, and all of that good stuff. So. Let's have a talk with the man himself and he'll break it down and give you a bit more info. Hi guys, yeah, I'm Corin. Sam and Seth. How's it going? All good, man. All good. Don't <laughs> worry, don't be nervous, man. We're just, we're just, we're just wrapping here. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. So Happy. talk to me, tell me about your bike. Uh, yeah, so this is a, a VTX, uh, Honda VTX uh, 1300. Um, come in a few shapes and sizes. Obviously this is part of the, the shadow family. This is the okay. big boy end of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Starting at 125 and then topping out um, I think at 1800, which is the next level up from this. Okay, okay, um, okay. This one is, um, it's, it's been modded a little bit. We've got mm. um, some aftermarket Cobra slip-ons on there. Yeah, those um, look sick. Which sound pretty good to be fair. They like They're not even a full normal. system. The mm. headers are, are uh, original, so okay, okay. sound pretty good. We've got some, got some nice little boards on here as well to make the ride a bit more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Nice spoke wheels as well, mm, which mm. is pretty nice. Okay, um, okay. It's done barely any miles, 6,000 miles, which I think for that age is really, really good. 6,000 um, miles in yeah, this bad nothing. boy. It's yeah, nothing. Literally nothing. Um, but yeah, it's just a decent bike. It's, uh, it's shaft driven, so the maintenance is really, really low. Yes. And obviously it's That's what I wanted to yeah. ask you about. Sorry to cut you. That's, That's right? what I wanted to ask you about. Yeah. Shaft driven. Can you tell me a bit more about this shaft driven stuff? Because yeah. I don't know anything about shaft driven bikes. I have dealt with um, belt driven bikes, chain driven bikes, but shaft driven, I didn't even know it existed. Yeah, yeah. So essentially, um, it's just basically like like you've got a camshaft and a lorry. Yeah. Um, it's just a rod that spins around inside and from the engine drives the back wheel. So like you said, you've got chain driven, you've got belt driven, which most cruisers are belt driven. This is this is shaft driven. Okay. Um, I prefer it really. It's less maintenance. Yeah. Okay. The ride is smoother. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's just an overall just looks better. It looks more sleek on the yeah. bike. Yeah. No, that is that does look very very tidy because. When I, when I come to pick the bike up, without even looking or thinking, I assume that it would have been belt driven because I've never come across anything like this and I didn't actually knew it existed, but that is quite sick. So question for you, Go do you know how often that needs to be done? You don't like, touch it. You don't touch it. Well, you do and you don't. Like, it, obviously, they've got they've got a lubrication in it. Yeah. And if you went for like a, a massive um, a service, you'd probably get them to change the oil on it. Okay. But it's pretty much the same time as you change your brake fluid. Really, it's yeah. you yeah. hardly ever touch it. Okay. Or you don't ever okay. need to touch it really. Okay. And obviously, it's just as, pretty as much the bike oil. gets older, you you probably would need to do it a bit more often. But yeah. that's yeah. the good thing. About about shaft uh, driven bikes is that the maintenance is low. Okay, okay. Low. That is sick, that is sick. Honestly, I didn't even know that existed until now, but that is good to know. Um, yes, so Honda VTX 1300. I really, really do like this bike. If I had this bike personally, what I'd do to it, I'd just black it out, man. I love the chrome, <laughs> yeah. but if this was all stealth, I think <laughs> it would be so sick. Black spokes, all the bits of black and just the chrome pipes. I think that will be so, so sick. 
But yeah, man, I think we should fire up, man. Yeah, see what she's sounding it. like. What a beauty, man. What a beauty. But yeah, Corinne, thanks for giving me a bit of info no on your bike, man. I do appreciate, appreciate it. it. Um, and yeah, thanks for the custom. Hopefully, Thank you, very much. you won't need to see RCL again. But if you do need to see RCL again, I will be there. But yeah, this one I've just collected for a flat red tyre. And it's gone into the boys, as I said, over at Two Tyres down in South London. Dino! Satin boy. Oh, well, you say we're going to put a new tyre on this one? Oh, Wicked. What's that now? What are you saying? Let's see if we can get this thing on the rim. Yeah, man, let's get her in. Let's get her in. Sounds like a GT bike. Sounds lovely, innit? <laughs> I love the way that sounds, man. <laughs> sounds so oh, sick. <laughs> My neighbours don't like me at all. Right? <laughs> <laughs> neighbours must love you, boy. <laughs> Pulled up to my second destination to do my second drop. Pulled up to the boys over at Franco's Motorcycles. It's for a returning customer for a Honda Blackbird. Super Blackbird, that's the one. Some time, man. Yeah, man, I'm good, I'm good. Can't complain, man. Vlogging, man. We're vlogging. Make sure you check it out, man. RCO Transport on Insta on YouTube, man. How you doing? Good. Very good, my friend. How are you? Don't tell me Snare Ten again. Oh, you love that track. That is the only one. Do you know what? I, I was the same, but this year when I went to so many different tracks. So which one do you find it? Cadwell. Six, yeah. Mm. Standard pipe back on. Yeah, man. Yeah, what is know. what is this? That's a mobilet. Mobilet. Yeah. Tell me about this. Tell me about this, cause I don't know what this is, and it looks cool. Mobilet, yeah. Something here that's very special. But Fernando here, he's gonna tell me about this bike because I've never seen anything like it, but I do find it very, very interesting. It looks so sick. And I would buy one. Is it for sale? I would sell, but the price see. the price gotta be right. <laughs> I don't know if I could afford it, but it looks sick. But yeah, let's have a look at this bad boy, anyways, man. Wow, Fernando, what is this? Tell me, please. That's a proper 30cc mobile at 1950. 30cc. Yeah. Wow, and it's proper got the pedals and everything yeah, on there. All of it. And you said to me it runs. Of course it runs. Let's fire up, man. Let's, go. Let's hear this. Watch, watch, watch. Nah, nah. I can't believe what I just seen. 
Wow. That's crazy. And the pro and the pro was there. There you go. So you start pedaling. Wow. You're supposed to have a mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a yeah. horn, but you know, yeah, yeah. time. <laughs> do, 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 do. A little duck. But that's crazy man. 1956 Mobilet. 30cc pedal bike. Nah, no, that's insane man. That's crazy. Two stroke obviously. Yeah, you can shut her off. You don't want to few us in. But that's nuts. I think that's so interesting man. Where do you even find something like this? Where did you find this? Uh, a friend of mine actually. Yeah. He had it in his back garden and, and Fernando, do you want it? I said, yeah, why not? Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Get it running. When you're ready to sell this, I'll buy it. <laughs> I'll buy it. If it's within reason price, yeah, you might as well switch it off, man. It's smoking us out in there. But that's actually crazy. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on. Switch off now. It's, it's magical how you switch off now. Really? What's the madness? And that's, <laughs> and that's how you shut it off? Just hold the engine. <laughs> that's madness. That is crazy. But this, yeah. this thing is so cool. If anyone knows anything about these kind of bikes, yeah. let me know. Because I've never seen anything like it. I have seen things like this on like, uh, I forgot what they're called. Them boys in American Pickers. They pick up bikes like this and I've never actually seen anything like this in person but it is actually so sick to see in person and yeah man but yeah Fernando thank you for showing me You're welcome, my pleasure. that bad boy and yeah man like I said when she's for sale let me know I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna buy it but yeah man that's that's a real good ending to my day I was so happy I came here and ran into this thing because this thing has made my day like I said I've never seen anything like it but I think it's something that's so so cool but I'm going to end the video here and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in. And like I said, if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you like what you see in this video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like what you see, hit the thumbs down. We're all good. Just want to know what you guys think. But again, thank you. Catch you on the next one.